guys welcome back in this video tutorial we'll move on to the next point that is partial derivative we'll not go into detail because we have already covered the concept of derivative in our first video x f of x suppose this is my random function if i go for derivative i'll write df by dx derivative is change of function with respect to change in x this goes for the single variable so we can call this as a two dimensional plot let us go for the three dimensional plot by considering two variables x and y so this will be my function f of x y that is dependent upon two variables x and y so whatever is the function here that will be dependent upon the two variables so i can't go for the simple derivative that is df by dx in this case for two variables or for multi variables partial derivatives comes into picture that is partial derivative with respect to x or do f by do do f by do x and do f by do y this applies for two and more variable let us see let us see what is the definition of partial derivative partial derivative of function of several variable is its derivative with respect to one of its variables with others held constant as we as we have seen before that first we have to go with respect to the first variable and then with respect to y whenever we go for the partial differentiation with respect to first variable the other should be held constant so when we go for this one y will be held as constant and we know that derivative of constant is equal to zero similarly applies for the partial derivative with respect to y if the concept is still not clear let us go for the first example f of x is equal to x cube if you see the function is dependent upon only one variable so my simple derivative will be 3x square this arises from the formula x raised to n is equal to n x raised to n minus 1 derivative of x raised to n is n x raised to n minus 1 this applies for the single variable let us go for another example that is the function of two variables let us consider x cube plus y cube plus 3xy this is the way that the, uh, that is the simple derivative denoted as and this go for the partial derivative as the function is dependent upon two variables we'll go for the partial derivative with respect to first variable that is x do f by do x so derivative we get 3x square other variable held as constant that will be 0 and this will be 3y so my result is 3x square plus 3y for the partial differentiation with respect to y we get x held as constant equal to 0 this will be 3y square plus 3x so this is a single derivative whenever for single derivative we have two combinations whenever we go for the second derivative there are four combinations possible those four are differentiating x twice differentiating y twice and then go for differentiation of x y and y and x so for second derivative for function of two variables there will be four possi possible second order derivatives let us see which are those this means differentiating the function with respect to x and again differentiate that result with x that simply means differentiate the given function with respect to x whatever is the result again differentiate it with respect to x it can also be written as do square f by do x square that is differentiating x twice similarly applies for y and write it directly
Now let us see the third combination that is differentiating x first and the resulting differentiating it with y. This will be written as differentiating x first result differentiating with y or do square f x first and then y. Similarly, the last combination will be f y x. This I will write it directly. Do square f do x do y. Now, if you see this, this second derivative is applicable for two variables. What if n variables come into picture? So, this is represented by Hessian matrix. It is basically a square matrix of second order partial derivative. This is the representation of the Hessian matrix. This is for n variables. Let us see how it is represented for two variables. We have the four combinations. We will write it in the form of Hessian matrix. Do f square by divided by do x sorry do square f by do x square do square f by do x do y do square f do y do x and last do square f by do y square. This is the representation of two variable Hessian matrix. Let us now consider one example. We will consider the same example that we saw previously f of x y is equal to x cube plus y square y cube plus 3 x y. For Hessian matrix there are four combinations of two variables. We will go for first we will derivate it with respect to x single derivative with respect to x. We have seen the notation it is dou f by dou x or it can be represented as f dash x. So, the simple derivative will be 3 x square held as constant 0 plus 3 y. So, f dash y will be 3 y square plus 3 x that we had seen previously. We want double derivative. So, double derivative of this will be f double dash x. f double dash x 6 x this will be 0 and f double dash y it will be 6 y. Now, we want double derivative do, f, do square f divided by do x do y. Now, in this case In this, we first derivate it with, uh, we go for the partial derivation with respect to y that we already have and then with respect to x. This means for this equation, we will find the partial derivation with respect to x. So, with respect to x, this term will be 0, this will be 3. Similarly, dou square f dou y dou x, this equation with respect to y that will be equal to 3. So, these are the four elements. This is all about partial deriv derivative. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you understood the concept. For any doubts and suggestions, please let me know in the comment box. For more details, you can look at these videos. Guys, help us to help you. So, please like my video, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.